Conti, I'm Italian, and um, I've listening through these two days several ways of uh, several meanings that cultural mapping can have, and I'm here to share with you a project that was was not born as a as thinking of cultural mapping. Actually, by doing it, we. By doing it, we, we realize that maybe it could be a possible tool for, for cultural mapping, and we are glad to share it with you and to hear your opinion about it. I'm a dancer and a performer. I'm not a video maker, but I use video as a tool for choreographic composition. And uh, the project started with a desire um, from me and my husband to make a project together. He's an arborist and I'm a dancer and working with community dance and we wrote a project that wanted to combine our knowledge in order to observe how the environment affects the body. And we came here to Mount Angozo to apply this project and um, we decided to stay one month in Mount and one month in Gozo. We decided to, we were planning many things before, so we gonna use uh, just uh, our feet and the bi and bicycle to move around the island to have to have not to not have any impact on the uh, environment, but also to get closer to people. And so um, our research didn't have any scientific or anthropological purpose, but it was really we really had this desire of encountering people and really meeting them closer. So. Uh, it had a nomadic approach. Um, we created the, our path day after day, meeting after meeting, and we choose four points of perspective. So the first it was four points of observation. We wanted to observe if there was a relationship between the body shape of the people and the nature, so the kind of trees, the, the kind of rocks, then we were interested in observing uh, food and private houses. So what the people cook, how they nourish themselves, with which, with which gestures and with, with which meals, and uh, how do the people deal with private space and public spaces. And we wanted to observe hands and craft. So we were interested in seeing if there were still some handcrafts, some jobs being with, with, done with hands. And um, we wanted also to observe the relationship between feet and path. So either ancient path that the people were uh, running before cars arrived, but also contemporary path. In this case, particular case, I have to mention the skate park. It is in the middle of a big ground here in Valletta. And it was, for us, it was a, a very interesting interpretation of uh, path. But I cannot go deeper in that because I don't have much time, but later if you want, we can talk more. Um, the first thing that we realized is how, was how much math is fragmented, both in terms of how much the land is divided in really little portion, really clearly divided from walls, but also how, um, because of the history of colonization, how, how divided is the, and fragmented is the culture. So we decided to use the same approach for our research. We decided to uh, use fragmented images, from fragmented way in my um, approach to uh, researching movement material that then would be included in the, in, in the videos. So I use my body as a way to uh, make everything we were encountering passing through as a bridge to filter and uh, re-elaborate, is it English? <laughs> re-elaborate all these encounters um, and to express them through movement. Uh, one, another thing we did was organizing, um, trying to organize uh, 
uh, workshop of creating creative movement in space. Uh, I'm a community dance teacher, but you can never use the word dance with people that are non dancers because they get scared. They think suddenly they have to do ballet and these kind of things, and this is not our purpose. We, we were aiming to make that experience the space where they live every day through the body to be able to see that space through another part of you. But um, in Malta, we had very little success. So if they, five people came, two were Maltese and three were foreigners. And in those, nobody came. So we made an open call for dancers, Maltese and those kind dancers. And they replied very well to this open call, and they are also in this video. Um, so Radici is the name of the project uses the body, movement, and the video to provide an additional perspective on places and people, wanting to dive deep into a land, distilling the essence, certainly filtered through the eyes and the skin of the dancer. We made eight videos out of our research for Malta and for Iloso. These eight short movies, collection of blends of senses, are not so much a map to follow but a map to be experienced, a map that works in an evocative manner. And we met a chef, a cooker, and he was telling us that even the taste can be imagined. So um, we had a, a, a book of reference, it was The Invisible Cities of Pietro Carlino. So Marco Polo and Kublai Khan, they are not talking the same language, but Marco Polo is talking all over the world. And when he's coming back to Kublai Khan, he's able to make Kublai feel and understand the, the different cities that he visited just because of how Marco Polo was showing this through his body, through the object that he brought. So with, with the movement, the use of the body as a means of relationship with space, with other people and with the self, and with the video, the timing of composition and the sound, Project Radici seeks to create an archive of small video maps of the landscape encountered by the body of the dancers. Um, our mode of cultural mapping provides flash blades of cultural and unique identity of a community through the sensitive gaze filter of the artist. Cultural mapping not only as a method for uh, cataloging, cataloging cultural heritage of the community, but as a useful tool for community involvement and collaboration. It was a pity that this trial with the uh, community dance didn't work because actually it was the most interesting part and thing for us, but we realized that one month is absolutely nothing to be able to enter the, the, the net of the community. Even though we were able to create some of a net with the institution, but it, was, it needed much more time to, um, to create a net to the people. Even though I have to admit that even just by talking to the people, meeting the people in the street, one after the other, we realized that we were offering them to the chance to reflect on their own land, on what they were seeing every day, even just by telling us uh, stories or their perspective, they were reflecting on themselves and how they were living the land. 